My name is Leticia McQueen. My mom is a very beautiful, intelligent, strong woman. I wasn't feeling right, and so I went to the doctor, and uh, she set me up with a nephrologist, and he ran all kinds of tests, and come to find out, I was born with one kidney, and that kidney was already failing. She has been on dialysis for six years. It, it hit me pretty hard. Um, it was pretty hard. So in this country, there are close to 100,000 people on the waiting list for a kidney transplant, and that really doesn't probably include all the people that would be a candidate for transplantation. I have always known that the transplant list was very long and took many, many years. There are about seven, 8,000 uh, people who donate their organs every year who have died, usually two kidneys per donor, so do the math. There are nowhere enough kidneys to uh, transplant all the people that are potentially awaiting transplantation. You know, that weighs a lot on you, you know. As you see, your, you know, every birthday passes by and you're like, well, am I going to be around for the next one? So really, live donation is, a, is really the best answer to help solve that gap or close that gap, if you will. Mom was running at it less than a 5% on the one kidney that she did have. You know, and she, of course, was on borrowed time. Um, so I told the doctors, I said, I'm here. You know, I'm her oldest daughter out of five daughters, and I want to get tested. My daughter, Audrey, of course, she's, she's special. And even more so that she decided to donate a kidney. So I never had a second thought in my head of like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't do this. It was absolutely all for my mom so she could have life. And when they told us that we weren't a direct match, um, it was a little saddening because um, I wanted I wanted to be that match for her to, to help her through this process a little bit easier. My name is Geraldina Beltran. When my mother was diagnosed with uh, chronic kidney disease, we immediately took action and we just, you know, got with the hospital and started finding out different ways and options to help her. Unfortunately, I, I think there's a statistic out there that says it's um, better for siblings of the recipient to have it, like it's more likely and children are a little less likely. All of them wanted to give me a kidney, uh, also my husband, but they didn't, they didn't match. We, uh, in encouraging people uh, to, to donate, many times they may have a donor that doesn't quite match them or their recipient, but may match somebody else. So we have started to form a lot of what's called internal swaps between pairs that have potential donors. I was willing to do anything and everything that I could. It's rare that something as serious as this becomes such an easy decision to make, <laughs> and it was. Thank God for this swap program that she was able to donate to somebody else and set the ball in motion in the swap program. So uh, someone matched, she matched someone that needed a kidney and then that other, another person matched me. And so uh, she, she wanted to do the surgery on the same day. Uh, I got a kidney transplant November 11th, 2022. He said, Mom, are you ready for your surgery? And I said, surgery? Yeah, they found out your match. And I said, oh my God, no, I couldn't believe it. Today I am coming to meet the families that we swapped kidneys with that helped save my mom's life. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Wow, this Hi. is so Hi, I'm Audrey. <laughs> Antonio. I'm Leticia. Um, Leticia, that's my aunt's name. Oh yeah, beautiful God. name. Beautiful You're name. Really awesome. Meeting my donors to express my gratitude is important to me because they changed my life. Oh, Mom. <laughs> it's, it's almost a gift, a gift from God to be able to meet them and to meet the recipient of who has my kidney and who now has life. It's like an incredible thing to think about, just the number of coincidences or things that have to take place for these two worlds to meet, you know, and it's, um, it's, just, it's just an amazing feeling, but definitely it's like a lot to think about. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. Well, I was so excited to meet my, my donor. <laughs> and yeah, they're very nice people. I told Leticia, who's the mom of my donor, I said, we are very blessed for God that 
giving part of their life for us. Not everyone can be blessed to have loving parents and the sacrifices that you make for your children as a mother, you know, are immeasurable, right? But the sac you never think that as the child, you're gonna save your parents' life. Um, so that in itself is almost unbelievable that we're able to do that. So to be able to save my mom's life and to give her many more years with us is immaculate.